Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we are taking a look at the golf swing of Nelly Korda, world number one women's golfer, just won the Olympic gold medal, has won three out of her last five starts, and has one of the most beautiful golf swings in the world. So let's dive in and take a look. We're gonna work our way up. First, we're gonna start out with a wedge, then we're gonna move to iron, three wood, front on swings, and finish up with the driver. So make sure you guys don't miss that. Like this video, comment your thoughts down below, reply to all your comments, and make sure you're subscribed as well. So let's dive in, Nelly Corda. Here we have her set up with a wedge, it looks like, or maybe a short iron. And, well, I don't know where she's playing here, but, oh, it's actually a Kapolei Golf Club. It looks absolutely beautiful in Hawaii. So, first of all, setup position. I mean, there's nothing wrong with her setup position in the slightest. It is probably the most, one of the most perfect setups I think I've probably ever seen. Actually resembles Tiger Woods setup quite a lot in terms of spine angle, the amount of uh, bend she has in her knees, how the arms hang really naturally down. Posture is excellent, alignment's perfect. Notice how she's using alignment aids there on the ground, something all of you watching should be doing. If the best players in the world are doing it, you should be doing it too. So now let's take this club back and we'll just take it back slowly and pause it parallel to the ground. Big wide takeaway. Quite a lot of early wrist set if we have it paused parallel to the ground here. She does have that alignment stick in here at about a 45 degree angle. I believe having seen some of Nelly's previous swings where it looks like she maybe sometimes gets a little bit inside with the club. It looks to me here like she's using that alignment stick to make sure she keeps the club slightly outside the hands and maybe starts to hinge the wrist a little bit earlier, get the club working a little bit more upright in the backswing. But that is just a guess based on this swing and using that alignment aid. That is certainly one reason you could be using that. And now, yeah, so at this position, pretty good position, club outside the hands. I think this is a slightly more exaggerated position when we see a look at uh, some of Nelly's other swings. I don't think she'll be as exaggerated with the club as outside the hands as she is here, but pretty good there. Wrists have started to hinge, but she's kept that triangle between her arms and body really nicely. As we slowly take it to the top, hinges those wrists, quite a lot, fairly fairly early wrist hinge, then kind of holds that angle as we play it up to the top. And let's pause it here at the top of the golf swing. Now there's a few really interesting things that happen with Nelly's swing in terms of with some of the shorter clubs and then some different things which happen with some of the longer clubs. But first of all here, Nelly has an incredibly good pivot in her golf swing. If you haven't seen the video I did on pivot versus turn in the golf swing on my channel where we compared Tiger Woods and Victor Hovland in terms of their pivot versus the turn in the golf swing and understanding that, I do recommend checking out that video. Just a good basic understanding of pivot versus turn in your golf swing. But Nelly has incredible pivot here maintained her spine angle really nicely knees still pointed forwards they haven't turned but you know she is fully loaded into that right hip right heel right glute all of those things big shoulder turn too really good width in nelly's golf swing very straight left arm and if we look at her right arm here as well the right arm is not below 90 degrees. It is probably straighter than a 90 degree angle in terms of that right elbow and great connection with the uh, upper right arm uh, to her body here. And that club is just in a perfect position. Pretty neutral grip it looks like for Nelly here, relatively neutral, um, probably a two knuckle grip or so. So pretty much a perfect position there. And as we start to play this down, Nelly does just an incredible job of getting her arms back out in front of her body, maintaining width on the way down in her golf swing. So watch this. As she starts to swing down, gets gains a little bit of forward flexion in the hips, 
And the look at the width she's creating on the way down. Look how straight her right arm is. Very, very early on the way down, but still a lot of wrist set. And then as we pause it, let's pause it at impact, just technically just after impact. Very, very good spine angle, excellent posture. She's kind of started to roll onto the inside of that right foot, and she is compressing that ball really, really nicely. A few really interesting things to note here. Nelly has a fairly straight right arm position at this point in the swing. Uh, she has now released that angle she was holding onto in the downswing with those wrists. She's getting pressure and weight into that left foot through the target, maintaining her spine angle and posture really, really well. Now, as we slowly play this through, she does have quite a lot of release in her golf swing, but she keeps her arms and hands very nicely connected to her body. So as we play this through, she's going to release the club head over, but she keeps the arms connected to the body and brings that club working up back out in front of her. So let's just play this a few times, guys, and just take a look at this. Have a look at it a few times in real time, the rhythm of it, and then slow it down and take a look. There's a lot of really good things we can learn and copy about Nelly Corder's golf swing. Honestly, like, probably almost the most things you could learn and copy from anyone's swings. She has some incredible foundational elements that she probably does better than maybe 60 or 70 or 80 percent of the best PGA Tour players in the world. So when I say she has an incredible golf swing, she really has an incredible golf swing, guys. One of the best swings probably on the planet. Uh, so now let's take a look at Nelly. Well, let's take a look at an iron swing. And here, the first swing we're going to have a look at here is her doing some work with her coach here. And he's actually holding two... two um, two golf clubs here to make sure that Nelly looks like he wants her to actually bring those hands in the hand path in a little bit more at the start of the swing maybe hand an arm path in a little bit more at the start of the swing uh, instead of kind of bringing the club I guess the hands getting a little bit hands and arms getting a little bit detached moving away it appears to me that's what he's trying to do here so as we play this back, I'm not going to pause this one, but as we play this back, big wide take where you can see she's not as outside with the hands, um, with the club head to the hands. They work in a little bit deeper, get really nicely laid off at the top. If we pause it at the top, and really, really good position here. It's a slightly different swing. There's a few different aspects of it to the swing we just took a look at. And this could be because it's a slightly longer club or something she's trying to work on a feel in her golf swing. The pivot and her body positions are pretty similar. What's slightly different is the arm structure at the top. Her right elbow isn't quite as connected to her body at the top of the golf swing, but still keeping a lot of width. Still pretty good arm structure. Um, from here, it might be slightly tougher to get the arms back out in front of her, but she's still going to do a really good job of this. She's still loaded into that right side. As we start to play this down, she's going to pull those arms back out in front of her. She pushes them out, keeping that width. Look how she pushes the arms out, keeping that beautiful width, but has a lot of hinge in the wrist. And then as she starts coming down into the ball, she releases that hinge. If we pause it at impact here, Again, really good look at her impact position. Open hips, um, shoulders are fairly square-ish to the target. Beautiful weight transfer onto her left foot. Her right arm, fairly straight. She's kept that width in that right arm on the way down. She doesn't keep that as connected as some other players do. And then as we play this through, she releases the hands and arms hard down the line keeping the arms connected to the body in the follow through and bringing them up above that left shoulder. Really good. So now let's take a look at this is the same day, probably just a few minutes later, Nelly actually working on these movements herself without her coach. And here she's doing a drill where it looks like her hand path moves in a little bit and she keeps the club head on the outside of her hand. So she's going to do this drill 
where she pauses like kind of parallel to the ground and then she goes to the top and then she hits it from there. And this is one of my favorite drills to do whenever, it doesn't matter what you're working on your golf swing, but to actually break it down into certain positions. So if we play this from the start, she's gonna slowly move to that exaggerated position she feels there where the hands have moved in, the club stayed outside and the shaft's working up a little bit more. And then as we take it to the top, pause it at the top, just beautiful position there. Here's a really good angle to see that right arm position, how much width she keeps in it. You know, probably maybe a 90 degree angle in that right arm, beautiful width, beautiful depth with the arms as well. And then as we start to play this down, she maintains that width, a little bit of forward flexion in the hips, and maintains that width coming down beautifully on top of the ball. And then you can see this release through the ball where she's really releasing the club over quite hard. You know, a beautiful follow through as well, beautiful finish position. So if you want to work at your, on anything in your golf swing, exaggerate those positions, break it down, start with the takeaway, top of the back swing position, and try hitting it from those positions. So you pause, you have a slight pause in those exaggerated positions, and then try actually hitting it. At first, you're not going to hit it very well, but it's going to get you in those exaggerated positions a lot easier, more consistently, more exaggerated than you would if you were just doing full swing, and it will be more beneficial. Now, guys, let's take a look at a three-width swing of Nelly. Then we've got two more swings to take a look at. We're going to take a look at a front-on iron swing and then the driver swing, of course. So this is a nice little flighted three-width. It looks like Nelly's hitting. And... Again, setup position is pretty much perfect. So let's just start playing this back and we'll pause it again. We'll pause it just parallel to the ground here. And very, very good position here. Looks like the club has started to work a little bit more inside than maybe previous uh, swings we just took a look at. So you can kind of understand what Nelly's been trying to work on there. And then as we play this to the top and we'll pause it at the top. I love the, the one of the best things, and I'm going to recap this for you at the end of this video, guys, what, what the things you can learn from Nelly's swing are. Uh, but one of my favorite things, which we could all learn a bit more from Nelly's swing, is the width. Look at that right arm. That is, I actually don't know of a swing that might create more width than that in the world. The only other swing I can think of that creates a lot of width, well, there's two on the PJ Tour, and they're both insanely long hitters. That's Will Zalatoris and Wilco Nienarber. Well, Wilco is kind of on the European Tour, but he plays a bit on the PJ. And those two swings, both incredibly powerful, both slim guys, generate a lot of power and have great width. But Nelly here, really, really huge amount of width. And look at that right arm. That is not even 90 degrees. That is a very, very straight right arm position, which has enabled her to create that width. And she looks like she's pretty athletic. You know, she probably does quite a lot of gym work and flexibility and mobility training in order to do this. Uh, great top of the back swing position. As we play this down, she's going to maintain that width on the way down. Look at that. She creates some lag at the start of the downswing but keeps the width in the arms and pushes those arms out and then releases that down at the ball. And if we pause it at impact, well, there's a lot of rotation. In terms of like, she doesn't create the most rotation of any golfer in the world, but I would say what she does is she has a really good amount of rotation whilst still maintaining her posture and her spine angle. And that's not very easy to do. I mean, that is really difficult to do, have that much rotation whilst maintaining posture and spine angle. Very, very impressive. We can see, again, that slightly straighter right arm position than we might see with some other players at this point, but in, just incredible impact position here. And then as we play this through, she's going to release those hands and arms down the line. Really nice, keeps them connected to the body. It's kind of a sawn-off follow-through, so they move slightly left. She's trying to hit a little sawn off shot, keep it under that tree here. So let's just play this back a few times for you guys. And just, we'll just play it slowly back, but just the rhythm and the width she creates, and then that little bit of lag on the way down, but then she releases down at the ball. That's just really, really beautiful to watch. Just absolutely awesome. I actually don't really know of another player who, who does that 
as well as she does create that much width on the way down with that like lag and release on the way down is pretty pretty impressive to be able to do that to be honest let's take a look now at Nelly's swing from front on this is a front on iron swing we have here uh, this is a really really good look again Nelly's setup just absolutely perfect I mean nothing wrong with that at all as we take this club back Again, you can see a slightly early wrist set, slightly early wrist hinge. If we pause it parallel to the ground, um, she kind of maintains that wrist hinge in the back. So in really good position here. You know, we can see that triangle between her shoulders and arms at this position. And then as she takes this to the top, wrists are going to start to hinge a little bit more. And if we pause it left arm parallel, it's pretty classic golf swing, actually. You know, classic would be like 90 degree angle between club shaft and left arm at this point. And she's pretty, I mean, almost 90 degrees. And then as we continue to play it back, she loads beautifully, huge, huge shoulder turn. If we pause it at the top here, that is a very, very impressive position. Again, showing some flexibility and mobility here because... She's kept a very, very stable lower body. She hasn't really turned much in her lower body. She's pivoted very, very nicely. What I mean by that is her knees are still pointing pretty much towards us. They haven't turned to the right at all, or her, our left, her, her right. But she's beautifully loaded into that right hip, into that right glute, right heel. And look at that shoulder turn. Her shoulders are actually pointed behind the golf ball which is very, very, very difficult to do. That is serious, serious flexibility. A lot of wrist hinge at this point as well. And guys, something important to note, Nelly has a lot of mobility and flexibility here, and her club is not parallel with the ground. Now, you should almost never be getting an iron parallel with the ground if you're keeping your arms really connected to your body. The only way you can get a iron parallel to the ground is if your arms are probably going to be moving too deep in behind you, too much wrist hinge, maybe too much flex in the right arm. Nelly keeps that width beautifully here. Again, this is a good position to see that width. She has a decent amount of wrist hinge, but that club and huge shoulder turn, but that club still is not 90 degrees. So, you know, something to learn there. And now as we play this down, she shifts, bumps that left hip left well onto her left side and look at this width she keeps on the way down keeping that hinge in the wrist but then releasing that down towards the ball and if we pause it well let's pause it just before impact and here she's actually released a lot of the angle in the wrist she had she had a lot of lag early in the downswing but by this point she's already started to release that and this means let's play this slowly through the ball this means that she doesn't have to release it too much through the ball. If we keep playing it through, she doesn't have too much release or real kind of flip through the ball and keeps those arms beautifully connected to the body coming onto that left side of the finish. Let's just play this back a few times. Just watch that, guys. So she has that kind of slightly early wrist set. Then at the top of the backswing, she maintains that width on the way down, has that early lag as she transfers left, but then releases it before the ball. She's not really releasing it at the ball. She's actually releasing it slightly before and then holding on to that angle. And again, guys, comment any thoughts you have down below. If I've missed anything, you disagree with anything, I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment down below, reply to all your comments. Also, give this video a like and subscribe. Now, guys, the last swing we're going to have a look at is Nelly hitting driver, the one you've all been waiting for, and she absolutely smashes this one. So here we got her set up with the driver. Again, set up position, maybe a slightly more arched back in this uh, this position, slightly more arched lower back. So, you know, that's probably the only thing I can see slightly different from the other swings here. As we play this back, again, slightly, well, if we pause it parallel to the ground, it's pretty much down the line at this point. Pretty good position here. Maybe slightly more inside than she was working on in some of those other things, other swings, sorry. And as we play this to the top, beautifully loads into that right side. If we pause it at the top, again, that right arm is so, so, so straight. That is, you know, nowhere, nowhere near 90. I don't even know what angle that right arm is. Probably 70 degrees or so. That is crazy. 
that is absolutely awesome position there. Really straight right arm, creating so much width. Beautiful flat back of her left wrist. A bit more bend in the knees here as well, a bit more bend in that right knee. And as we start to play this down, she's again going to maintain that width on the way down, but has that early lag on the downswing, but keeps those arms out in front of her. And if we pause it, it's at impact. Loads of rotation, hips and shoulders, very, very open. Right arm straight, great posture, great spine angle. You can actually see the weight rolled onto her left foot from this position. And as we play this slow, slowly through, look at her extend those arms down the line, really great extension of those arms and keeps them really nicely connected in front of her as she rotates to that finish. Let's just play this back a few times for you guys. Just, there's so much to learn from Nelly's swing, honestly, like from whatever angle you look at it. And I'd love to know watching those videos, what have you picked up? What have you learned? What have you thought? Oh, I'm going to go to the range and work on that today or tomorrow. I'd love to hear what you were most impressed by, by those swings. Because honestly, it's a very impressive golf swing. Actually, one of the best golf swings in the world in terms of a lot of those real great foundational elements. And probably I would recommend if you have a son or a daughter, um, you know, don't over coach them too much. But just some of those foundational elements, you could definitely, you know, try and instill in them from a fairly young age. Um, you know, there's, there's Nelly Corder's golf swing is, is a good one to copy pretty much for anyone, guys. Uh, the only thing I would say is she's incredibly athletic, incredibly flexible. And, you know, for some of us, that may not be possible. So, you know, just bear that in mind trying to get into those positions. She is super, super athletic. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Comment your thoughts down below. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, anything else you've learned, picked up, anything I missed, comment down below. Give this video a like. Loads more coming soon. And make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. As always, grip it and rip it.